welcome. This is the Straight Beer News. I am your host, Chris Hardy, and today we'll be discussing a settlement reached between Schmaltz Brewing and Sutter Wines. This week a settlement was reached between uh, Schmaltz Brewing in upstate New York and Sutter Wines, a California winery. Schmaltz Brewery is known for its Jewish heritage. In fact, they call themselves a Jewish celebration of craft beer. They name their products uh, typically things that would be uh, known in the Jewish community, uh, such as one of their beers is called Slingshot, which is an homage to um, David and Goliath. They have a line of different beers called He Brew. Uh, they have uh, one that's called Messiah and one that's called um, Jubilation. So they name their, their beers um, kind of in a, in a cute way after their Jewish heritage. One of these names recently, however, caused a little bit of controversy and um, created a uh, trademark dispute with Sutter Wines. It's a, a 12 pack of beer, a variety pack that they had. They named the pack Ménage à Trois. Ménage being spelled M-A-N-N-A -N -N -A, as in manna. Um, or in other words, the, the, the food that, um, that fed the, Jewish, uh, the, the Jews while they were in uh, the wilderness on their way to the Promised Land in the um, Hebrew Bible. So this menage à trois was very similar to the line of wines that Sutter Wine has called menage à trois, the proper French spelling of the, of the phrase. And that dispute was settled this week. Terms were not disclosed. Uh, however, I, we do see that on their website, this uh, Variety 12 pack has changed names on the Schmaltz Brewing website. The Variety pack had three different beers. Uh, they were all IPAs, hop varieties. Uh, the one was called Hop Mana, one was called Hop Mania, and one was called Hop Mama. And so they decided to take this uh, hop theme and rename the pack Hop Orgy. So it kind of stays with the sexual innuendo, um, but it loses the, the Jewish innuendo. So I, they kind of stuck with one, and but by doing that they, they lost the other. So I was trying to think of what would they do to maybe keep that name in line with the lines of the names of their other beers. And I thought for sure there had to be some other way to keep both a, a sexual innuendo like menage a trois or like hop orgy, um, but also keep it in a Jewish text. And um, it, it seemed that, you know, in, in the Jewish Bible there's um, many of the, the prophets and many of the other people had multiple wives or concubines. And although I didn't come up with a name specifically that I could suggest, I thought something along those lines might be suitable that would, you know, capture both elements that they were shooting for. Although then maybe they come into conflict with uh, Mormonism and their polygamy and their concubine and whatever. So maybe they just are better off not, um, um, not doing it that route either. All right guys, well, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you watching and coming back every week. If you don't want to miss any episodes or any shows, please subscribe, click that subscribe button. Uh, if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. If you have any comments about any of the things I've said today, leave me a message in the comment section below, I'd be happy to interact with you. Also, if you like, you can find me on the social media. I am on Twitter, I am on Instagram, and I'm on Untapped, so you can follow me at those sites. The place, the instructions and where to find me are in the description box. So again, thanks for watching, this has been the Straight Beer News, I am Chris Hardy, thanks for watching, see you next time.